Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial. And last tutorial, I used displacement map to move around the layers, and it was a compound effect where you had to use a, another layer to drive how the effect worked. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use another effect that After Effects has created, where we don't really have to use that layer to drive what's going on. It's going to be less custom, but it's going to be easier and quicker to use. So it all depends on what you want to uh, do and how you want your look to look. So this uh, um, effect is going to be called Turbulent Displace. So let's uh, go on. I'll show you what, what I have going on here. We'll start from scratch, but this is what we're going to make. Now, if, if you can see, I'll zoom in. The text is actually just basic text, and I threw on this turbulent displace, and it moves. So we can create like a um, jello -y effect, I guess, and movement effect there. So let's uh, start from scratch and see what's going on. Let's delete this. So I just have text, and I'm going to throw on turbulent displace with its uh, default settings which uh, brings it out to something cool like this so we've got a lot of uh, amount on here um, we've got different types of displacement so there's bulge twist smoother I mean all this the uh, the amount is up pretty high so some of these are gonna be uh, uh, moved around a, a decent amount so if I move the uh, amount down maybe it won't they won't be so like crazy looking and uh, everything like that, but we'll keep it at 50 for now so we can go through the rest. We've got vertical displacement, which is just going to do the up and down and not the left and right. Kind of like, uh, kind of reminds me of uh, like a Microsoft Publisher kind of looking thing. There's horizontal, so you can see it like that. And the last one, cross. Ooh, saucy. Look at that. So I like uh, turbulent, and uh, let's bring the amount down. Let's try 20 and see what that looks like. I mean, that's fine. And uh, the size will also uh, have an effect here. You can see how that affects it. Um, it affects how much the uh, evolution affects what's going on here. and like the size will affect the, like the middle of the if it's a higher size it'll affect the middle of the text more and displace it even farther out and everything like that so size and amount are one and one together like spaghetti and meatball <laughs> all right so i'll stop that and uh we've got the uh, offset here um which we can use to show i don't know just kind of like move it around it's not really too much. It's just like almost like a random seed generator. It depends on where you want where you want to put it. You could animate this around and get this kind of effect if you would like to. Kind of like a liquify looking effect. But that's a that's why that's because of our size and amount here. Now if I move the size up and then move this around, it's going to be more. Let me try moving the size up even more, and our amount even more. And uh, you can see how this will affect it even more, like that. Let's get these back to where we want them. Now let's just uh, the evolution is the pretty much how to make this move. So we can start it at anything that we want to get um, different random seeds. And if I start this at something like three, and then keyframe it, and come out to here. You could even start at zero if you want and go to 3.5. 0. 0.5 is good for uh, seven seconds. We've got the complexity here, which will, I mean, just it'll change how much it affects the uh, edges there. So um, right now it's got like a different, it's like a rough edges look, like a like a, it's like rusting apart or something like that. And then down here, it'll be more like of a liquidy uh, on a lesser complexity. So I'll put it back to one. Um, evolution options, we've got just a bunch of different uh, 
evolution different just a just to change what it, what it looks like and all that stuff so you don't really need to work worry too much about this and then I mean best quality of course you can try that or uh, put on the anti-aliasing if you want it's just gonna make the render time a little longer but that's fine it's this isn't a hugely uh, uh, hugely intensive effect so I guess that's how you use the uh, turbulent displace, and it's I don't know, pretty cool in my effect. So, or in my opinion, so that's pretty awesome. Let's uh, head on to uh, another tutorial, I guess. And uh, I can't even remember what I was just gonna say because some girl sent me a picture, and I'm distracted now. So, <laughs> thanks for watching this tutorial, everybody. I uh, look forward to seeing you at the next one. Have a good one, everybody.